done. Hey nerds, how you doing? No, 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 no. There we go. Hey guys, uh, so it's been a while. Um, hopefully I'll have posted the Easter video that I made on Sunday, uh, and it's taken me all week to find time to do, so maybe I'll get it done today. Uh, anyways, yeah, I really do look like I've been at work all night. Sorry about my face. So, um, it came to my attention recently that I am drawing to an end of my school year. I think Robert is done, like, next week or something like that. Grr. And my student finishes up in another week and a half. Finals, like, in a week and a half or something like that. By the way, if I haven't mentioned, I've been tutoring Anatomy and Physiology 1, which has been kind of awesome. I've been really enjoying that, and it's kind of made me feel like I want to be teaching again. So, that's a thing. On the idea of school coming to an end, I've got eight weeks. Eight weeks? Eight weeks left? Seven to eight weeks. Which kind of means that I don't have seven to eat. Yeah, better than to eat. I think I'm hungry. Which kind of means that I don't have seven to eight weeks left to choose what this means. Uh, I actually have, like, until the first of May, which I think is next week, to make a choice about what my next year is going to look like. And I have basically three options. Three options? I have basically three options. One is to continue on the current track that I am, which would mean another very, very academically intense year, a full course load, and then some, uh, on top of doing clinical, continuing to work about 32 hours a week with a new position. This summer, after I graduate, I will be eligible to sit for my board. I'm going to on a slight tangent here, which would mean I'd be eligible to get my nursing license, and I would be an LPN, which is great. I'm excited about that. It would mean that when I do have to take time off for school, I wouldn't be hurting quite as much because I would be making more money next year, which is wonderful. But it still means that I would basically be having to work 32 hours a week or would be responsible for that. And work's been really great this year, well, the second half of this year, about allowing me to take time off when I needed it. I don't want to keep pressing that. I feel like if I keep expecting them to give me time off, they might get tired of me, might be less willing to do favors for me when I absolutely need it. That being said, back to option one. Accept my enrollment into the RN program, which would require me to do moderately well this semester, which again only has about seven to eight weeks left in it. Option two is to take the year off. I would actually take a couple of courses over the school year to keep myself going to school to boost my GPA. So if I was only taking one or two classes and not having to do clinicals as well, that would probably make life a little bit easier and I would probably do better at school. I would not have to go to work for at least nine hours and then go to school for a minimum of six hours and then fit in tutoring and sleeping in there. It would just be work and maybe a class or two a couple of days a week. I wouldn't be nearly as intense as what I'm doing now. It's a lot of explanation for a very simple concept that I'm sure you all understood without me explaining it. Those are the first two options. My third option is to become what uh, Cliff, our site director, explained to me, is called a undeclared undergraduate part-time student. What that would mean is that I would continue on with my class, taking the non-nursing classes with them that are required throughout the year, and then I wouldn't have to take them when I got into the RN program. So. The third option I like the most because it allows me to transition into the new school location because they're moving after we graduate. It allows me to get to know the new instructors. It allows me to stay on with the friends that I've made and class friends and classmates that I've made this year. It means that when I get into the RN program, I would have less of a course load to take. The two downsides to choice number three is that I'm paying out of pocket for the classes that I'll be taking during the next year, and it would mean that I'd be paying for those, and then I would be paying for those same classes again in the following year, or whenever I get into the RN program, because they're part of the tuition, and the school most likely would not take the cost of those classes out. The other thing, as you may have noted, that I've been using the phrase, when I get into the RN year, they would not hold that spot for me that I've earned this year. I might not get in the following year and would have to wait an additional year to attend 
the RN year, which would mean another year before I'm a registered nurse. I suppose that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I have some more information that I need. I don't know how much the classes are going to cost me, and whether or not doing that I can use my financial aid, if I'll need to take out another student loan, or if I'll make enough to pay them off without it. I don't know. So, as Eric knows, and, and Robert, I've been going back and forth with this off and on every other week. I seem to decide that I'm going to either just push my way through, or if I'm going to take a year off. And now there's this third option that I didn't know was available for me. So I'm wondering what everyone thinks. Eric, Robert, I value your opinion, and some of our fans, I know that you guys have weighed in on stuff before. I'd appreciate any insight that uh, you've all got. Pros and cons. Pros, I stay on with the classmates that I have. I don't have to adjust to new people, make new friends. Not that making new friends is a bad thing, but social awkwardness sometimes is an issue for me. I would basically be a registered nurse just over a year from now. I could start making a lot more money. I could figure out where I want to go career-wise. And it would mean that I could relocate, if that's what I choose to do, much sooner. Now let's look at the cons. This has been a very stressful year. I have missed out on an awful lot with my friends. I have not had a lot of time for myself. I am very, very stressed. I have not performed academically as well as I would like to. Not necessarily technically a con, but if I didn't go to school as much next year, um, I could work a little bit extra and put money aside so that way the following year when I'm in the course that counts fully I would have saved up money and I wouldn't need to work as much. I could probably work 24 hours instead of 32. Something like that. I have not been able to be very healthy this year. I spent the last couple of years working on being healthy and I was looking at graduation photos from when I was at Bancroft and I realized I actually looked really good there. This time last year I was about mm, 40 pounds less than I am now. And I don't necessarily like that. I mean, I've always been a big guy. I'm never going to be super skinny, but I haven't been able to make a lot of time for being active. And that's something that I miss. So a con is continued stagnation. Let me know what you guys think. I could really use some help. Of course, I'm the one who ultimately has to make the decision. So this isn't a voting thing where whatever everyone picks is what I will go with. I will appreciate any comments anyone has or what people's opinions are. So thank you. And, uh, see y'all nerds. Ah, yes, and, uh, nursing education requires diligence sometimes. Actually, to be perfectly honest, it's kind of like all the time.